What's up everyone? So I'm going to have a little bit of fun and I'm going to do a review as a very casual uh, driver of this Nissan Kicks. So the legroom isn't bad for an average height. Um, I have the seat back maybe just a touch. I have this one up a little bit more. But the reason that I have this one up a little bit more is because if you want to drop the back seats down, which do, it's great except that headrest will impede on the back of this seat. So you actually have to sit it more upright. So if you like the seat lean back a little bit or a person is taller, you may run into some issues. Um, this has a remote where you just press the start button and then you have the fob just to unlock and things like that. It does have the uh, amenities for plugins, things like that. I don't have the, uh, can't turn the wheel, but Unfortunately, we'll just be able to have to look at it, but it has cruise control all of those other things um, down over here We've got some other controls, so it's got a pretty loaded uh, Package power windows things like that the seats are not power uh, And they're just a cloth. I'm sure there might be a package to do Something like leather and maybe not because this might just be a very compact easy car this particular one uh, has the ability to have um, satellite as well so that's pretty cool and then yeah it's just got you know it's got some stuff up here and again it's not a bad car let's take a look at the back side out here so when we swing swing around here like I was saying, you have the ability to put the seat down. It's just these little pegs right here that you would pull up. But you have to be able to have the room up here. So I dare say that the leg room here, I'm actually going to try it by getting in. I hadn't gotten in the back yet. That's not bad leg room. Again, average height and below would probably be comfortable. But, you know, some people's budgets are going to mandate that you just go with what you go with if you're taller. So um, it's not uncomfortable, but I definitely wouldn't say it's the most comfortable car I've sat in. But that's um, I want to be fair. Um, it's it's comfortable enough. Let me put it that way. So now I've got this seat over here. And now I want to see what it's like if for somebody who might be a little taller as a driver. Yeah, so now right now. Again, average height. If somebody's a little bit taller, this is what your back seat uh, passengers may may deal with. And again, it could be way worse. There's worse going on in life, but just pointing these things out. Got a couple power out outlets right back here. All in all, it's not a bad vehicle. Um, I have to believe that this is only a four-cylinder, only based off of the little bit of um, output that I've I've gotten while I'm driving. It's not poor on power. It does have some some go, but it's uh, Definitely not going to uh, Win you any races or anything. We've got some things in here for gas Hood all that but all in all it's not a bad little car I don't know what the price is on it And I don't know the year of it and the reason I don't know these things is because I'm only renting it But I wanted to have fun and give just kind of my insight so far on this vehicle i'm going to get it packed up but guys if you have any questions comments or concerns um as far as its usage i can give you that but anything else you might want to just look up what the nissan kicks is all about as far as uh all the uh the other things that you might find in the owner's manual so i'm going to leave it at that and uh wish everybody well we'll see you guys soon peace love unity solidarity